going to tell me why we're here talking to you two today then? She is. <laughs> I won my first WTA 500 and you backed it up and won another 500. So we had a good week. It was actually quite a nice way that it worked, that he was always one-upping me and I wanted to match him. So it kind of felt like a, a nice little roll going on to the rest of the week, but it just made me want the final even more because you won. It, this is not a competitive relationship <laughs> at all. No. My final was Saturday 9pm in Acapulco against Casper Ruud. I finished final, finished media at around 1am, had a uh, transport to go to the airport at 4.15am, so decided to kind of stay awake and pack and, and do all that because sleeping was overrated. <laughs> and 6.20 flight to from Acapulco to Tijuana, crossed the border and made it to San Diego at around 10 30. I knew you'd kind of mentioned it a little bit to me before that he might make the effort even if he won or lost but uh, yeah. you know I, I believe it when I see it with him so you never know. Um. That was dedication right there. <laughs> Somehow I ended up in the final playing some of the best tennis I've played in a very long time and uh, I don't know how but I managed to get over the line and it was a bit, little bit of a fairy tale for me. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't come, but he insisted he on it, so... <laughs> on. Obviously, I was very happy he was there. The end of a brilliant week for Britain's Katie Bolter. Special uh, thank you to my boyfriend, who... <laughs> he finished last night at uh, midnight, and I really want to embarrass him, so I do appreciate it. <laughs> I hadn't watched uh, our live match of hers. Uh, up to that day. Katie just went out there and smashed it and made it uh, an unbelievable weekend. Yeah, it was nice to have him and my full family as well, uh, all in one place. We started the year well. Um, <laughs> hopefully we can keep it going. It was a perfect weekend that ended out with uh, a nice in and out dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.